Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. Today I'm uploading another installment of my little series about decluttering my closet and what other things I'm doing around the house because of three factors. One, I just moved. Two, I lost weight. And three, we're social distancing now. It's a trend. It's what all the cool kids are doing. In all seriousness, I do hope that you're doing okay out there, whoever you are, and that you're safe and that if you're not sick, you don't get sick, that you're washing your hands, that you're staying socially distant. So today's declutter video is about me decluttering my dresses. I'm uploading by clothing category because I started doing my whole entire closet in one video and it was not good. I just have too much clothing for that. I've already uploaded one video like this. If you want to see it, I will link it above. Otherwise, I hope that you find this video inspirational while you're doing your own closet declutter or any other housework that you need to do. Or if you want to just watch and get to know what's in my closet, you're welcome to stick around and see. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into the declutter. This is a dress by Torrid that I got off like a Facebook group, I think. Uh, I'm torn about it. It's a solid dress. It has a good shape and a good fit. There's nothing wrong with it, except that I just, I don't like the print. I don't know, my boyfriend likes it. But now it's getting a little big for me, so I don't know. I'll put it in the, the things I want to replace pile. This dress, this is from New York and Company. Um, it's a good professional piece for me. It has these flowers on the bottom. This dress I actually need to fix. I like it, I like how it looks. Uh, however, it's a little bit too small for me. I was feeling optimistic. And I put it on and I wore it to work and while I was at work literally the seam on my ass popped open so <laughs> so I'll make a pile for things I need to fix so as much as I call my style edgy boho sometimes it totally depends on my mood because there's times that I want to wear a dress like this it's kind of like this skirt here I kind of characterize this part of myself <laughs> as like prospector chic or like prairie chic, where I like vintage looking stuff, and then I'll wear my combat boots to kind of like <laughs> edge them up a little bit. However, this dress, I've kept it around for a long time. I love how long it is. It's from Old Navy, but it's just, its it has an armpit issue with my sweat, so I can't keep it. I'm sorry, little dress. Somebody who's not sweaty will wear you. Next is a dress that I need to try on, so one second. Okay, this dress is from Forever 21 Plus, and you can see it's like a little too small for me. I think I'm gonna keep it around until like maybe the summertime. If I've lost enough weight, I'll start to wear it again. If not, uh, I can live without it. But I think it's just a pretty like simple base of a outfit kind of dress. So I'll keep it for the future. This dress, I can kind of take it or leave it. It's fine, doesn't really thrill me. So I can probably get rid of it. This dress I got from Mod Cloth, which is another brand that I recommend if you're looking for cute, kind of more vintage inspired stuff or just more like unique items. It fits me pretty well right now. It's cute, it's floral, it's springy, I'm gonna keep it. This one, I actually got this, I wanna say, I got it at a thrift store in the Netherlands. I got it somewhere in the Netherlands, I think. It's from um, Esprit, E-S-P-R-I-T. I need to try it on, so one second. Okay, so I remembered why I don't wear this dress very much. So obviously it's a little tight for me. I think I'm gonna um, put it away for autumn. Um, it's short. Too short for work, but not the right length for casual. I'm not a big casual short dress wearer. If I'm gonna go casual with a skirt, I'm gonna wear my long skirts because I just feel more comfortable and more able to move that way. But I mean, it's a nice dress, it's a nice color for me, and I think if I put on tights and boots with it, it would be great in the fall. So I think I'm gonna save it for the fall because by then I'll have lost some more weight probably and so it'll fit me better. Thank you for helping me talk all these decisions out. <laughs> it's really helpful. So this is a super cool sweater dress that I just got and I tried it on and I know that it fits me and I did wear it for a day. I absolutely love it. It's coming up in a video soon. Editing Hannah here. I was trying to be all like coy about where I got that sweater dress because I thought I was gonna post this video a while ago. But I got it at Anthropology, and I made a video about my shopping trip there. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and click the link above. I'm linking it this is okay <laughs> thank you very much we'll get back to the declutter and I absolutely love it 
So thank you. I will be keeping you. Okay, this dress is a simple black dress, great for professional. So this is something I would like to replace because it is too big for me now. Um, it's Liz Claiborne, which is sold at JCPenney. It's pretty. Basically, I really love the lace at the bottom and the hemline. So I gotta keep my eye out for something similar if I can find it. This, I love this black dress. It's by Symphony, it's a brand I don't really know. I wanna say that I thrifted it. It's like bodycon, tight, sexy, and while it's covered with a nice high neck like I like, it has a sleeve. There is this mesh panel right in the middle down to the waist. So there's a little bit of sexy without being like, hey boys. And the length is good for me too. So I really love this and I'll continue to wear it if I ever go out somewhere once we're done social distancing. This dress is from a dress barn. <laughs> I got this for my sister for either Christmas or her birthday. I guess she didn't like it because she never really wore it. And then she gave it back to me because she has shrunk. It's too big for her. <laughs> you can see the deodorant marks on it because I keep trying it on and then it's too small for me and then I take it off. So I want to lose weight into this dress and I'm almost there so I'm gonna keep it in my closet. Just a good professional dress, I need those. This dress I think I got from Poshmark. There's no brand. It was too small for me when I first got it so I'm gonna try it on. Okay, I'm a very happy lady. So this dress was too small for me when I got it and now it fits me like just about perfectly. I think it'll be a great casual dress. I think it's a little too short to wear to work, but it just, it's great. It fits my aesthetic of whatever my aesthetic is. <laughs> I really like it. I love all the different textures. I wish I knew what brand this was so I could recommend it to you. Yeah, it fits me really nicely. So keeping this. This dress I got for Christmas from a friend of mine a couple years ago, and I know just by looking at the tag that it's probably too small for me right now, but I'm gonna hang on to it because it's a good, um, kind of all year, all seasons dress. It's just neutral and professional. This dress, I have it in two colors. I got it from New York and Company. It is so freaking cute. It's the Sweet Pea collaboration with New York and Company and Stacy Frotti, F-R-A-T-I. -E I don't know who that is, but they made these beautiful tropical wrap dresses that I plan to wear to work, to the weekends, to dates, to everywhere. <laughs> All spring and summer long, they're chiffon, they're lightweight, they're lined. It is a true wrap, so I need to sew a little space in or get a little safety pin to tack it down so that it doesn't like whoo in the breeze. They're just so beautiful, they're long enough for me. I absolutely love them and I'm keeping them. This dress is from New York and Company and I have struggled so hard with figuring out how to wear it because it's super cute. It's the Gabrielle Union collaboration they did. I haven't tried it on in a while, hold on. So here's what's wrong with this dress for me. <laughs> it's too short to wear to work. The fabric is heavy, so I feel very warm in it. So I want to not wear any tights with it. However, now it's a little bit loose, so it's not really like staying down in a bodycon kind of way, like how your body fills it out so the stretch stays stretched and it stays down. So now, it feels very active and very mobile on the tushy. So if I was to wear it like out on a date, which is not something that my boyfriend and I do very often, but if we did, I would be very concerned. Even just doing that, literally like looking down, I felt the back of it riding up and the whole night I would just be like this. So I really love the idea of this. I love this burgundy color. I like the sleeves. You can tie these like straps into, see? You can make like a bow back here or something, but it's just, it's very hard to wear in a practical way, unfortunately. This is uh, R&K from JCPenney. Good, fits me well, workwear appropriate. Gonna keep it. This dress I also got from JCPenney. It's Danny and Nicole. This one is a, a little bit too short for me to wear to work because of my ass, but it's really pretty and my boyfriend really likes it and I like it. And even though it's more of a princess seam, which is not usually flattering on me, I feel good in this dress for some reason. So I'm keeping it if it makes me feel good. 
this dress. It's an Old Navy XL dress. My very first YouTube video I posted features this dress. I'm gonna keep it and try it on now that I've lost a good 35 pounds <laughs> since that video uh, and see if it fits me differently now. If nothing else, I'll, I might just keep it for sentimental reasons. This is an olive green maxi dress. So it's my favorite color. It's my favorite neckline. It's like calf length on me. I was gonna try it on, but I don't think I need to. I already know. This dress came from online from actually a Poshmark seller who I bought two LuLaRoe dresses and they were trash. She sent along this one with it as like a free gift because Poshmark sellers do that. And I was like, oh boy, this is actually a really cute dress. However, it's cotton. So the armpit definitely shows sweat. So it's made me very nervous to actually wear it out in the world, even though it's super freaking cute. People, if you have good like anti-sweat solutions, please tell me. Cause this is a really cute high-low dress that I really like to wear and just not feel like a gross monster. The brand is Super Foss. Super Fall? I don't know. I just that's not probably not French. I just made that up. <laughs> It says 3X large, US 14. <laughs> it's definitely um, European. Okay, this dress is working better than I thought it would. This is from Forever 21 Plus. I'm not naked under here. I'm wearing a flesh tone bra, other than the fact that I was too big for it and now it fits me again. And this is why I haven't really worn this dress because with these sheer lace panels, I'm like, should I wear a bralette? Am I supposed to just wear a normal bra? Can I wear a shaper underneath? Cause I like to wear shorts under all of my skirts, especially when they're this short and they're flowy. So when the wind comes a flowing, I'm not gonna flash anybody. So sometimes I'll do that by wearing a shaper that has shorts on it. But I think if I just like embrace the lace and wear like a bandeau or like a contrasting color so I don't look naked like this, it'll be a really cute dress. Obviously like casual date night, that kind of thing. I'm glad this fits me again. So this dress I love, it's from Forever 21 Plus. I'm wearing shorts under it right now, not a shaper, so in real life it's not gonna look so bulky around here. This dress is like a much more grown up date night, night out dress. At least it feels more grown up to me. But it's also by Forever 21 Plus, so it's nice that they offer a lot, a lot of like different style aesthetics. I just like it because it makes me feel sexy but not overexposed. This is definitely one I'm gonna keep. It used to be too small for me, now it fits me again. So that's a really nice feeling as well. Okay, so this dress is by Ashley Stewart and I actually got it on eBay, like brand new with tags, never worn. And at the time I got it, I thought it was gonna fit me. It was too small. There are some fit things happening with it. It fits the bottom half of me better, but the top half, it has some space. It's a bodycon dress, so it's not supposed to have this kind of extra fabric hanging out. The top part of it is just too long. I think I've already made my decision here. Normally I would say I'm gonna keep it and try it and stuff, but I already know that the proportion on this is wrong, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate it. Which stinks because <laughs> I missed the window of time where this was gonna fit me. The last time I tried it on, I was too big for it, and this time I'm too small for it, or something. It stinks because it's brand new with tags, <laughs> and it's like wasted money, but what you gonna do? Ladies, this is why I freaking love Ashley Stewart. This is an Ashley Stewart dress, and I got it at a, like a wholesale discount sale. The construction, the way that it fits my curvy shape, they make clothes for curvy women, and even with my shorts on underneath, let alone like when I get a real shaper on and I'm not just like hanging out in my home, <laughs> but when I have my shaper on and I'm not bulky under here because of my shorts and my hair is done and my makeup is glam, like this is a dress that I got a year and a half to two years ago and I wanted to wear it for my boyfriend but when the occasion arose where I could it was too small for me because I had gained weight and I was super sad about it and now I've lost weight again and this fits me perfectly right now in this moment. <laughs> if social distancing doesn't last too long, we'll see. I'm gonna try to take him out in this. I love it when brands can make white sexy, like oh I love it. I can't explain it. I just love this. I love the construction. I love that it's still 
knee length, there's still a sleeve, and there's just a little bit of skin showing, but because of the lines, because of the construction, I still feel sexy, and like that's so cool to me. I love Ashley Stewart. Go check them out if you haven't yet. I'd be very surprised if you haven't yet, but uh, go check them out. I just want to stay in this dress. That's the problem. <laughs> but I can't. I'm still decluttering, so I'll move on to the next thing. This dress I got at a Goodwill. It's by Bowden. It's definitely too small for me right now. <laughs> it's not too far off. One size from now, I think I could wear it. I think it's super pretty. The fabric is super soft. I like the print. It's like doves or something. And I think it could work professionally as well as like a little cute weekend dress. I'm definitely gonna save it in my skinny pile for the future. This dress is from Old Navy. It's an XL. I like it in theory. I think I've shrunk the length of it a bit. I was gonna save it and wear it for pajamas, but then I remembered that honestly, I don't really wear like nightgowns. I wear like shorts and a t-shirt to sleep. I think I'll just donate this and let it go. God is good, everybody, because I love this dress and I'm so glad that it fits me. I can't describe, like, something about the fabric. It just flows so beautifully and I like dresses like this because, here, let me compare. This dress is by Dana Buchman, B-U-C-H-M-A-N. I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> this dress is Liz Claiborne. It's from JCPenney. So this is like a ponty knit fabric with a pleated skirt. It's a more like stretchy, kind of thick fabric here. This is a size 18 and it's been too big for me for a while. This dress is the outer fabric feels silky. It's like polyester made to feel like silk and it flows like silk too. So this kind of flowy fabric over my hips is way more flattering to me than like a ponty knit fabric which is more stiff and it creates a lot of volume where this gives you movement without giving you a lot of out here. I just think this is gorgeous. I think it's more flattering. I feel really good in it. And I feel particularly good because I lost weight into it and now I can wear it again. And I found it at the time when I could fit into it. It's a touch tight up here, I would say, but it fits me nicely. It zips all the way up. And of course it's flowy over my hips. So I have some time in this dress. It's gonna be a while before this dress is too big for me. So I found it at the right time in my weight loss timeline to start wearing it now and continue wearing it for a while. It's professional, it's date night, the fabric is awesome, the cut is awesome. No matter what, it's gonna be a dress that makes me look and feel beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful dress. <laughs> Not all of the dresses that I have are beautiful. Some of them are cute or fun or sexy. This one is beautiful. So I love having a dress in my wardrobe that feels that way. So I'm very excited that this fits me. This is a great replacement for that black Liz Claiborne dress for sure. Okay, so that was my dress declutter. I hope that you found it interesting, at least to see like where I shop and what I wear and what I'm keeping and throwing. Let me know any of your thoughts in the comments below, um, especially what are you doing right now while you're social distancing and keeping yourself busy? How are you feeling about everything that's going on right now? Is there any way that I can help you or pray for you or anything that I can do to help you feel better? And are decluttering videos like this helpful? Are they comforting? Is it distracting? Is it, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know your reactions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Very recently I hit 100 subscribers, which is huge. It's a big little milestone for me because I know that 100 is not a lot to a lot of people, but to me it's huge as a small YouTuber and I've been working hard on my channel and it's starting to grow and I'm really excited about it. So thank you to those of you who have recently subscribed. If you haven't taken the plunge yet and if you like this video, I hope that you go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel, set your notifications to all so we can keep in touch and you can become part of our little neighborhood that we're forming here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you spending your time here with me. So much love. Bye. Oh, I need to sneeze. Ah! Yeah, Corona.